Season 1, Alaska Gold Rush. And I love that show. After watching Alaska Gold Rush, I got excited and decided I'm going to start gold mining. So I went and got a 5 inch suction dredge. Then I realized, hmm, how the hell do I run this thing? I didn't know jack shit about what I watched Alaska Gold Rush. They don't know what they're doing, so I couldn't use any of my observations from them. I know what not to do, but I still don't know what to do. So I start talking to some people that have done it for many years. And wouldn't you know, those guys gave me a lot of tips. So I spent a lot of time dredging this summer with my 5 inch gold dredge. Here's a couple scenes. Yeah, that was some hard pack. That stuff was like decomposed concrete. This is a cleanup sluice. Once you pull that yellow stuff out of the ground, you can use something like this to go through all of that. That cleanup sluice works great. One of the features that I've installed in it are riffles. Riffles help catch the gold. If you don't have anything in to catch the gold, then it washes right on through. I know that because I saw these guys on Alaska Gold Rush to have this $100,000 wash plant with no riffles in it. No wonder they couldn't get any gold. I got from dredging this summer. Wow, look at that. That would have taken me at least five minutes to pan one spoonful of this. A couple more spoonfuls and maybe see if you can watch it from that angle. down for lunch. I've been running for an hour now. I went through one bucket and I just wanted to show you guys so far what I'm getting out of these buckets. I've reduced all those buckets down to this super concentrate right here. You can see the spoon here. I'm gonna say that that's no more than four cups of super concentrate. All right, I'm done running that super concentrate. You can see a lot of that gold right up at the top of the sluice. I'll zoom in and you can see it a little better. Most of it stays right there. So I'm gonna clean that out. I'm gonna guess that that's only gonna be about half a cup and that's what I'm gonna pan. 